Today, we're going to be focusing on a new topic known as advanced display. There are basically two types of advanced display. We have organizational charts and flow chart. For the remainder of this presentation, we're only going to be focusing on an organizational chart. Organizational chart is a pictorial representation of the structure of an organization. It includes things such as the type of organization, the number of departments, the size of the organization, the head of departments, the members within the, each department, the responsibilities of each department, the relationship between the various persons within the departments, and the lines of communication. Now for EDPM, this is a very technical document, but yet simple. What I'm going to do now is that I'm going to go over to Microsoft Word and show you how we go about constructing an organizational chart. There are two ways in which we can do this, right? We are able to use something known as smart art, where we will just select a structure and fill in the blanks from there. So this is what it will look like, and we fill in the information that we would want. All right. And that's how it will look. Final. Right. So this will be how we will go about doing the smart art. If we wanted to add something, we will click add shape before, after, above, right? Click on it and we add something else. Now, if we would like to add an edit to that, we will just do so, but the diagram will need to go down on the page. So we will have to change the wrapping of it. I like to use square. That enables me to move the chart anywhere over the page without any problems. Then I'll just select a heading. And put that in whatever font you like. And any font size that you like and put it in the center all right also I try to ensure that the space in between the heading is not that wide so I'll take this down a bit and take this diagram back up a bit to so close some of that gap between it and the heading remember we normally have a triple space between a heading and a body all right so I take it up a bit and then that will be it for my organizational chart. However, this method is not the one that is mostly used by us here in EDPM. What we like to do is to use the shapes to create our own structure. And as such, that is my main focus for today. So let us see how we go about doing that. First, we'll go to insert and go to shapes. You select text box. And you position that on the page wherever you so desire. Now, a thing with organizational chart is that we try or we strive for all the boxes on the same level to be the same size. Why we do that? We do not want persons to feel superior than anyone on their level or and inferior to anyone on their level. So we give everyone a level playing field. No what body's box is large or fat or anything than the other. Okay, the first box, however, are the, the ones at the top. They are normally wider because they don't normally have persons beside them. Okay, so this is my first box. In it, I'm going to write general manager. And I'm going to seek to center my information within that box. All right, I'm also going to try to use a nice little color to so let my chart look appealing. And that's it for my first box. Moving forward, what I strive to do also is that I copy the box and I position it all over the page 
to so set up the organizational chart. In doing that, it helps with time. Right, so I'm going to right click and select copy, but I do not paste while the box is selected. If I do that, the box that will come up will go inside of that box, and that is not what I want. Let me select paste and show you. There you have it. So what we do is while it is deselected, I will press the paste option, right? And there you have it. Another box came up. So I want about, say, six of them. But let me format one first, and then I will use it for the others. So I may have an accounts department. Right. And from this, I'm going to paste and use the other for my so I'm just going to do two levels because of the time factor, just the two levels, a short one. But the basics, once you know the basic, then it will be easy for you to do. All right. I will look at the space in between them and above, etc. So accounts department, I'm going to name this one my production. Production department. Okay, so now I have two departments on the same level, boxes being the same size. I'm going to go below that, and I'm going to insert another text box, and then this one I can use based on the shape and size of it. I use the same one for all of the others. Okay, so in this I'm going to have, uh, let me use a color and position it where I want it to be. Okay. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to paste about three more. One, two, one, two, one. And the reason why that error message came up was because this box was selected. All right. And I'm positioning them where I want them to go on the page. So you have to deselect and then you press space. Another thing to look out for is the margin. Please ensure that you do not go over into the margin with your organizational chart. Sometimes the charts will be very large and it is best therefore to turn our paper in the landscape orientation to get the width of that. All right, so I like to position my cursor between the margin the page and the margin to get an invisible line which will give me an indication if my chart is too wide because nothing should be over in the margin so this is a bit over so i need to come over some more with it and i will do the same thing for the other side so it seems to me that my box is too large all right So I should have done this before. Okay, good. And everything is looking okay so far. And this one can come over a bit. Okay. Good. All right, so that's the first part of my organizational chart. It's almost complete. The boxes are where I want them to be. All right, so I'm going to have... Um, I'm just making up some things as we go. And remember, there are various levels to an organizational chart. So it's all based on what the question is that you're given to draft. Please ensure that these the information, that they are centered in the boxes. The next thing that we need to do is to ensure that we put in our lines. So that's the next step. Insert, shapes, and I go to the lines. 
So I need a line across. I ensure that I position my cursor in the center of the box. We do not want a line at the end. Everything should be neat and tidy in the center of the box. And we go across. The line should be straight, not crooked. All right. When you let go, it should be a straight line. It should not be blurry. What I mean, if this, let me show you. It should not look something like that. It should be a straight line. Once it looks a bit blurry, the line is not straight. So that is looking good for me there. I am going to copy this. As I said, we try to make our life easy. I'm going to copy it. While it's deselected, I'm going to press space. I just use Control V, which is a shortcut key here at EDPM, for paste. All right. And that is there. I'm going to copy this one because it's on the same side same level and I'm going to paste it and here we have it on this side okay all right I'm foreseeing that my box on this level the boxes on this level need to come over some more because I'm checking out the center between it and this the two boxes below it it should be centered above it all right so I mentioned the word that it is a it is a bit technical because you have to try for everything to be neat and tidy but yet it's a very simple thing to draft. So I use those two terms. You may wonder what I mean, but that's exactly what I mean. Technical, but it's a simple document to talk. All right. So what the need of everything. All right. This is looking a bit blurry to me. Bit blurry. All right, we're going to continue with the lines. So now we need our lines coming down. So right in the center of the box, line come down and ensure that the T, the cross on the T touches the line. If it doesn't touch it, then that you'll have a space between your lines and we can't have that. I will now seek to copy this line while it's deselected I will press paste All right. and then I'll take that to where I want it to go All right. please ensure that the lines as I said they touch but the line should not be down in the box so this line needs to be shortened a bit the cross should be on the top of the box. Okay, so all our lines are now in. The only thing needed is a heading. So here I have ABC Limited. Right, we can change the font of that. Change the font size. And put that in the center. And that is more looking like our organizational chart. Okay, to get a better picture of how it looks on the paper, we can go to Print Preview. And see how it looks on the page okay and that is it sometimes of course you may be required to center it vertically on the page but for now this is it once you understand the concept of it you're free to put it in any way that you want again I said if it's very large you may want to turn your paper in the landscape orientation but this is it all we are required to use are shapes so a text box and the lines, and that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do enjoy the rest of your day.